What's up, everyone? It's your boy TSG. I'm doing a reaction on my boy Get Beans. This is the uh, Two Month Wolf Elite Female Waiver Haircut. I'm doing a reaction to this. Everybody, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. Unless like you got some dippers, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. Let's get that. Let's go. We'll fast forward a little bit. Let's go. Okay. Yo, so to kick this video off, I wanna go in using my gold comb and I wanna basically lift this pattern. This girl been using a do rag so a lot of her waves are compressed. You wanna okay, go comb in the hair all okay. comb your arms. As you see, comb in the hair, hair. all okay, look at look at it. Okay. Alright. Got some got some connection. And I'm going with the grain. I'm doing light strokes. I want to make sure that this okay. ground stay intact. But I also want to make sure too. that the waves will be solidified after every stroke. Always brushing one, always fading one, and ensuring that this haircut is coming out perfect. Wow, hold on, y'all. Wow, you see how you see how he's uh how he's cutting the hair in the direction it's cutting it? Man, that's this cut gonna be fire. Just want to talk about that. Everything consistent, letting all of the hair feed through the teeth with any waiver. You don't want to overly do it, you don't want to drag the clippers through, you don't want to accidentally hit a calic. If you don't know they have calics in their head, just take your time, let the clippers ride over the top of the hair, and let the hair feed through the teeth of the guard. And it will ensure that you're able to get that one desired left haircut. And that's gonna always be the mission with a waiver, it's just ensuring that all of the hair is even and it remains dark, and those waves are intact. Wow, look at the here, man. We all look at the same world, but we all look at it. You know, we got all way. these little witchy colors going on. Some. Crazy. My next step is to go in with my gold babeless FX trimmers, and I want to make sure right, that I that tape. Sure it's it's clean. a clean line so I can break into my taper area. You see how you see how he's he setting up for that taper, y'all? This taper about to be clean. This brother can this brother can do them tapers for these uh waiver haircuts. Just giving myself some room and I'm sizing up this taper. My next step is a number two guard completely open. Seeing I cut the hair with a number two guard open against the grain won't do nothing but evoke this area, especially the do rag line. That's where a lot of the weight is at. And I just want to lift up some of this hair and make sure that I'm able to start myself off and create room to create a nice transition in the type of area. Next step is completely open, using my 1919s, giving myself about an inch, and I want to make sure that I got a nice guideline. Like all of your guidelines matter no matter what nobody say. In terms of doing a fade, your guidelines got to be solidified. You got to make sure that every line He's speaking you know, fast, is though. into place and things of that nature so you can set yourself up for a nice transition. And next, I'm going to go in with my one eighth guard, which is my next important guard. Seeing I debulk with that number two, it is very important. I'm going to go in with this one eighth guard halfway closed, and I'm going to be closing it back and forth. As you guys see, I know it's not finished, but look at the train. You can look at the transition and be like, man, this dude is putting in some major work. Let's go. Between halfway and closed all the way, just so I can ensure that this transition is set up, you know, complete. And this transition is set up nicely. I need this to be fed through and here to be, to be softened as possible. Then I go in with my 1 16th guard, and I'll be using this to basically feather in between my 1 8th and my number 2 Man. guard. It's super essential and super important to your fading process. And me just down fading is doing nothing but preserving the boat, but also giving myself a better transition. Mm. Of the fade, opposed to pushing the fade from that bottom to top, which could 
almost, you know, ensure that you will wind up pushing the fade a little bit higher. It's easier to stay way more uniform when down fading and just stay super Ooh, look consistent. At, look, look at it's transforming. A nice transition Crazy. in your back taper. My next step, I'm gonna drop my clippers completely closed. And when my clippers completely closed, I'm gonna fade this line out, you know, line by line, starting close. And I'm gonna go halfway. And once I go about halfway and notch in this area, I'll be able to ensure that I got a nice, clean, you know, transitional fade right here. That's my objective. I wanna give y'all a nice transition. Make sure that her neck taper is superb. Mm. My next step right here, I'm gonna do the same thing, repeat the same steps. I just wanna nudge it over and just make sure that it's completely completely faded like that this is something that's super essential to the process neck tapers to me are really, really hey man the music he got on here is killing that music is dope yeah crazy that's that old school music y'all know nothing about that really really good if you can do them good and right here i go back in with my 116 to clean up the edges of the hairs using the hilt of my blade and just ensuring that that transition is up to part and as you guys can see voila we have an amazing taper that taper is super nasty right there <laughs> My next step, I go in with my go FX's. This is a super Side important tape. step right here. Go with my go FX's right in a rainbow like shape because I'm gonna be giving her a nice low ball taper. But I wanted it. Look at that low ball taper that he's doing on the side. I'm telling you, I've seen him do this a lot. It's gonna come out fire. Let's go back to the video. Look at look at the back of the taper. It ain't, it ain't even edged up yet. Look at the back if you can see it. First it, so I'm trying to make sure that this line and everything in this area is together all the way. This is super important to the process. I'm trying to make sure that it's super clean and making sure, you know, that the sideburn area is alleviated and out the way. My next step is to go completely open with my number two guard debulking. I did the same thing I did in the back because I cut the hair with a number two debulking with a number two would be my result in terms of kicking off my transition from my taper right here going into my next step right now. Going completely open with the wall 1919 is giving myself about a half of an inch. I'm trying to create room to create the transition on the side taper. And then now going into my one eighth guard, which is my number one guard, using this to blend between the number two and the open just to soften it up and feather it up before I go in with my one sixteenth. But this is a real essential guard to this side of the taper because not only am I going up using the hilt of my blade, I'm going to get the hair behind the ear where it's kind of dark at. And I want to basically lift the hair and let the hair feed through the teeth so I can get a consistent taper, which all in all will give me a consistent transition. My next step is completely closed, and I'm going to blow this area out as well. <clears throat> Shout out to Jerm Boomer for the beats, too. When Man, I told y'all Jerm, anything, on. samples, regular beats, yeah, whatever he's, he's it is, I'm going to turn different, and I just appreciate the him so pickers. much for bringing this. It's together for me on my channel and putting a nice yeah, sample together. Right. My next step is a 116th, and I want to use this 116th basically to detail in between my fade and ensure that that transition is up to par. So, as you guys can see, I'm using the edge of my UFC 257 this Saturday, streaming exclusively on the Okay, now we're back. We're getting rid of them stupid commercials. Oh, play, and I got a bad. clean side taper. step i want to just go ahead and break something down to a lot of people when you become some type of influencer do anything that you're doing in real life how do you deal with you know being contacted by a lot of people how do you deal with you know staying on the nature's course and whatever you're doing the biggest thing to do is to not think about numbers in terms of followers or numbers in terms of money a wise man always told me you know you follow your passion you're gonna be richer than any man who who basically working for money anybody that's working for money is always setting themselves aside or setting their ambitions and dreams aside you know for a dollar and the dollar to me holds no value 
This is why I love and enjoy doing what I do. This is why I educate the way that I educate. Because nothing can stop me from always wanting my dream or wanting, you know, a passion over profit. And that's just the way that I've always been. The reason I choose passion over profit is because I could come to work every day happy. Or I could record happily. I could educate happily. I could get a game away the way that I never received it. That's one of the most important things on YouTube. The reason I teach the way I do is because when I was on YouTube, I could not find these techniques on anybody channel it was only three barbers on youtube at that time and if these barbers are so old a lot of people wouldn't even know nothing about these barbers that's how long ago it was that's why i give the game away the way that i never received it that's been always important to me that's one of the most important missions to me on youtube stay focused stay locked in stay you know investing in your craft and in your education and it's impossible to lose interest in your actual passion my next step is to go in and use a some spritz and I'm gonna basically lock Ooh, all this hair in on the and lay that hair down and lay all of this hair down. That's one of the most important. Yeah, he uses spritz on his on all his clients to lay their hair down. So when it comes time for the for the clean edge up, it'll be fresh. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Things and any lineup set up for me, I wanna go mm. and use a light mist of spritz, bring all of this hair completely forward because Man. I know I'm gonna have to create this lineup up for this young woman. And she has a lot of hair Ooh. on the forehead, so I'm prepping that as well. Also, I'm going to go in. Yeah, the clean it up. Let's go. Wave, and that's basically yeah. float over the waves, keeping my distance, using the hilt of my blade, and making that's sure that I'm feeding all of them roach legs. Get, of the get, them, get them roach the legs off. Yeah. Ensuring that I'm getting a nice, solid, clean haircut, as you guys can see the waves are sticking. Man. You spent millions Hold on, on y'all. Let's, let's get back to the video. Them stupid ass. But let's go. Let's there. Let's lock in. Let's have fun. My next step, I go in with my gold, babe. Let's have X trimmers. And I'm creating my slits using look the straight the, part of my blade. Look and at that line. It's going to come out clean. Look at it. Towards the back, I'll convert using the corner of my blade to work my way around the corner here. Look at that. The gold blade. Oh, that's crazy. Always taking my time, looping more than once, and ensuring that every hair is in place. I want this table to look as clean as possible, but also I need this line work as solidified as possible. Because that's what make my work, you know, ten times better. My line work is inevitable. That's why a lot of people come to me that my line work is ridiculous. It and is I appreciate ridiculous. that through everybody who book appointments because they want the here, baby experience. Down. One thing I like about this client right here, my sister actually put me on with this client. She works with my sister so this girl got her own youtube her link will be in the description you will be able to watch you know her interview or, or her video with her basically experiencing a hundred dollar haircut for the first time and i just think it's super dope so as you guys can see i'm dealing with a lot of lot of room and a lot of hair in the front so uh -oh. i want to basically go look, in look, play look, look how you fix this lineup up y'all nice solidified area and work my way to the left slowly because i will have to open this area up just to ensure that I'm giving her a super straight and symmetrical lineup. That's the best thing about any client who has a lot of hair on their forehead is that you have to create these lineups and this will really tell you what type of barber you are and this will also show your, you know, your creative imagination and it'll also show your vision for the actual look. Some people would think that I dug too far into the lineup, but I'm making sure that this woman lineup is super intact, super perfect and I just want to make sure that I stretch it out just enough so you guys can see a nice clean line. That's crazy. As you guys can see, I'm playing on the edges a lot. I'm not overly playing my part. I'm tapping and going and I'm creating mm. a nice clean Just line. Working with the on my Chicago C's now, using That's the curve of my blade to create that right nice here. clean ergonomic look in the line of creating that curve look. Hold on, hold on. The same hold on. steps here. Y'all see how the hair is looking? Man, that, that lineup is clean. That's crazy. Starting in the middle to reset myself and working all the way to the right. And I just want to slowly but surely tap and go with my line because I got hitters. I don't want to be able to scar this woman. I don't want to cut her at all, but I also want to create a solidified, nice, hard line just so I can ensure that this lineup will be amazing. That's always been, you know, my thing, my gist. I want to make sure and ensure that all of my lineups are super great. So using the same techniques here, I did my vertical bar. Then I'm just ensuring that I'm doing the Chicago C and creating a nice 
nice ergonomic curve to her lineup just to give it some pop, some flesh, some flavor. Oh, okay, back to the video. Epics to go on with my boy Sean. Cuts hair, color, and handsome and cars spraying at a four inch distance radius. Assisting it with my product, the Beam Team Coolest Compressor XL. And my second product, No Drip, which is basically a color combo. Putting all these three together is literally like a big three. It's like Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and my boy KG all wow. at one time. Using all three Fitting of these bars, is easy, man. a trifecta. It's something that's different. So it's easy to keep your color Dang. inside your boundaries, but at the same time, display sauce, flavor, and flat. A different level. That's always been my objective. That's what I'm known for on YouTube. I'm a color god. Now, nah, you know, I bring lineups to life like that. My next step, I go in using my barber magic pencil, which is basically like concealer for women eyebrows. They'll go and clean their eyebrows up first, and they'll do or use any fill in to their eyebrows. And after that, they'll go in with a concealer and blend that out, or they'll use foundation, you know, using foundation as a concealer. And I'm just, you know, applying some of the same hacks that I see in other industries. In my industry, just so I can make lineups look way better. And my finishing looks, this is for my finishing looks, my Kodak moments when I want to take pictures of my finished product. I'm doing this for that. This is also so, like, you don't have to overly wash the hair to get them white lines. Sometimes you got to use holding sprays, sometimes a clear, fine shampoo to get the hair as clean as possible. But in this case, just the Barber Magic Man, pencil. Look at that and now I'm using my clippers to blend that line out, creating contrast right. from the pencil to her skin. And as you guys can see, it's giving a real dope nice clean lineup look and that's simply my objective to just tap and go keep everything consistent create that contrast look at it nothing but ice glacier gang that's the only thing you're gonna get on my channel my next step i lean my client back angling my razor at a 45 degree angle going with the grain going against the grain just to ensure that i'm able to get my client one of the craziest lineups she ever seen that's my objective when you sit in my chair i'm gonna produce sauce flavor and flair i'm gonna give you a level of precision that you've never seen and that's always is my objective behind my chair all in all this is easily a banger so in the imperfect world we do get these clients that come in two and a half months without a haircut and as i tell you guys in every other video it's barbers is up to us to change that outcome without further ado jacqueline my client in this video i appreciate you so much for letting me record this let's lock in hashtag tbt in that comment section hashtag glacier gang y'all know what time it is I as y'all seen this video that that uh that cut is fire. This is my this is my reaction to me doing a reaction to my boy Get Beam, who has uh three hundred twenty two thousand subs. My boy probably should be in the millions, but that's just my opinion. But this is my reaction to his video that he did a week ago. So I'll be doing more reactions with him and other barbers. So everybody like, share, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy TSG. I'm out. Peace.